Good evening. We uh, begin tonight with a hot button issue for parents and for educators in the public school system. And now trustees in the Cowichan Valley are taking action on it. They're mounting a campaign that would see deep cuts in provincial government funding for private independent schools. Under the Cowichan Board's plan, that public money would go towards public education, which is struggling facing another year of budget cuts and deficits. A News reporter Brent Shearer has more on the story. He joins us now in our Mid-Island Bureau with details. Brent. Hudson, it's an idea that was floated several years ago and was dismissed, but given the dire financial situation many school boards in this province are dealing with, shifting money away from independent schools towards the public system might gain some ground. All over the province, school boards are spinning their wheels trying to come up with ways to balance the books. School districts are bleeding red ink, but here in the Cowichan Valley, school trustees have come up with an idea to inject some desperately needed money into the system. They want to see independent school funding redirected to public schools. The rationale is around public schools being underfunded, public schools being um, the place for... Um, uh, to produce well-educated um, citizens that is um, social and economic sense for us in, in British Columbia. About 50% of the funding for independent schools comes from the province. Parents foot the other half of the bill. This independent Christian school says if it lost provincial funding, many parents wouldn't be able to afford to send their children here. There's choice in the independent schools in this province to for families to choose, you know, faith-based education. And we're a, we're a Christian school, like I said, and, and our parents desire faith-based education, and we provide that here in the Valley. And uh, if we lost that here in the Valley, uh, it, would be a, it would be a loss to our, not just to our parents, but I think for the community as a whole. If the money was taken away from independent schools, about 200 million would go into the public system, which this independent school says would be devastating for them and do little to solve the budget crisis public education is facing. However, the Cowichan Valley School Board disagrees and says the province should be spending its resources bolstering the public system to ensure every child receives a good education. We believe parents who have the ability to fund students separate um, to the public education system are able to provide an enriched education, whereas others do not have that viability. The motion to redirect funding will be presented to provincial school trustees at a meeting this weekend. Now, if those trustees decide to endorse that motion, then it goes to the Minister of Education as a recommendation. From there, it's up to the minister to decide whether to act on it. Hudson? All right, Brent, thank you. Keep an thank eye you. on that.